Welcome to Melwani. This is Whitek here with legendary Marcus Sapin of Blind Guardian. How are you doing, sir? I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. <laughs> and I got to tell you this that beyond the red mirror highly anticipated album of 2015 how excited and nervous are you feeling right now for this album Um actually I'm rather relaxed because I I I'm, I'm, I'm very self confident and I I think we did a great album you know and um the great thing is you no know, I I read a couple of reviews on the internet already you know I saw a couple of reviews in magazines that were published already yesterday so a review of blubber mouth and uh, all the reviews so far are pretty overwhelming you know everybody is is talking about the fact that we did our masterpiece and um that sounds very nice i have to say you know obviously when whenever you do a new album you know you try to do your best um Absolutely. sometimes you, you achieve it sometimes you fail whatever but i think um in in my opinion it's i think i can say it's the best album we did so far i know it sounds like a typical cliche kind of answer because everybody will tell you that it's the best right. thing they ever did but i really mean it <laughs> you know believe it or not i mean it and uh as i said the, the reviews that i've seen so far are pretty overwhelming you know everybody says it's awesome and um, i'm really looking forward to the release day when when actually the fans can can uh give it a try and we get their feedback and obviously i i can't wait to go on tour and play that stuff live because that's the ultimate feedback you know whenever you go on stage and you see a couple of thousand people going nuts when you when you start playing that's the absolute highlight about being a musician absolutely now the very important thing we have here are the fans now you released the first single from the album uh, earlier this month that is twilight of the god so how have been the response from the fans and you also released few trailers as well on youtube so how have the fans responded in general uh very very well you know i mean the song Twilight of the Gods, uh, the single that we put out, I think it's it's one of the more typical Blind Guardian songs on the album, which still has lots of new elements, you know. But the the basic thing is, it's one of the typical Blind Guardian aggressive speed metal songs. Right. It has a it has a very dark atmosphere. It, it, it one of the the new things we tried on the new album is very down tuned guitars. That's something that we never used so far. And then a couple of songs, I think four or five songs, we used those very down tuned guitars. Mm-hmm. which which give the uh, those songs a very dark sound dark atmosphere and you know this this song is a good example for this it has in general a very dark atmosphere which is broken up by the by the chorus which sounds very positive in contrast to the rest of the song you know that's that's something that i that i like a lot that there's this this movement in in in, in the atmosphere in the character of the song and uh the uh, response for that song has been very good so far same for the for the internet trailers i think that's something that our fans in general like a lot that they can actually get an impression about what we're doing in the studio because i mean uh, obviously normally when a band works in the studio nobody really gets to see it because you know uh it's not a public place where people come by and you know just check in and see what we're doing sure. normally all this happens behind closed doors and with those internet videos and links that we can do um people get a kind of insight about you know what we are doing how we are doing things and what they can expect i mean obviously we're not not being out the complete songs in those those uh video trailers but you know they they get elements they get an idea okay this is you know how the guitars will sound like this is the direction that they're going oh there's there's orchestra and they're doing this and that and whatever and the response especially for those video kind of things uh, has been amazing you know people love it and you know i think it's a good thing you know uh, that's what the internet is is perfect for you can spread information about anything you want to spread you know uh, worldwide that in a in a very simple way you know you just put it on your website put it on your youtube channel whatever and people all over the world have immediate access that's perfect that's right it connects the band with the fans and that's very important exactly exactly 
fantastic. Now three decades and you just don't seem to fail, you know, the fans saying that, okay, Blind Guardian is, is coming up with, a, with an average album, but that never happens. So for me, it's safe as a fan to call Blind Guardian as a well-oiled German machine. <laughs> I like it. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, you guys you know, don't um, surprise us. You still sound fresh. There's never been an album like you know. We feel that okay, the band has rehashed the old material. It just doesn't work that way. And you guys don't compromise at all. And when I listen to Beyond the Red Mirror, it makes me feel really good. And it's huge. It's monstrous. That's great. I mean, that's what we want to achieve. You know, it's the the. The only goal, once we start writing new stuff, is always we want to come up with something fresh, you know, with, with something new. We don't want to repeat ourselves, you know. Right. And um, I've been, in, in a previous interview, I've been asked um, if we ever consider to go back into the direction of, of whatever previous album we might have done, you know. And that's something we definitely try to avoid because this, this, this concept of going back to me, it sounds like repeat yourself, you know, uh, you know, play it safe, don't risk anything, you know, just repeat the formula that worked in the past. Hmm. And uh, that's not our attitude, you know. If we would be doing this, I think the band would have broken up like, I don't know, 15 years ago, because that's boring. At least in, 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 our, in our opinion, that's boring. We don't want to do this, you know. We always want to take the next step, whatever that might be. Obviously, um, there are key elements to our sound, you know, to the Blind Guardian sound, which we established over the years, and, uh, you know, we would be insane to just throw it away. We don't want this, because, I mean, after all, that's the sound that we established and that we love, you know. There will always be the choir elements, the guitar harmonies, and, you know, all those things, you know, the layering in the music. That's part of our, our key elements. Sound. But we always want to take it, yeah, we always want to take it one step further. And like this, keep it fresh for ourselves on one hand, and obviously also for the fans. Because I, I myself, and I mean, I'm a music fan myself. You know, it might be my profession, my job to play in a band, but nevertheless, I'm still a metal fan that goes out and buys album. And um, <coughs> I also, when I buy a new album by one of my favorite bands, I want to hear something fresh. You know, if right. you know, I don't want to hear a repetition of something that this band did in the past because I already I already have the previous album. I don't have to buy it again. You know, if I want to hear it, I put on the original, and uh, that's our attitude. We always try to take the next step, take it to another level, add fresh and surprising elements that still work in the Blind Guardian context, and like this. You know, broaden our style with every so, new album. Always add new stuff. <coughs> that's true, because when I listen to the album, I feel it's huge. It's like, it seems like every aspect of this album was designed to be larger than life. So was this a conscious decision of, you know, creating such a big sound or it just came naturally? Um, I think both. Uh -huh. uh, you know, and at some point, you know, it, it's not that we were starting the songwriting with the idea of let's create something that's larger than life, you know, let's top everything that we did so far. Uh -huh. At some point, when we, when we realized, for example, with the song The Ninth Wave, we wanted this, this choir, you know, to open up the song, and at some point we knew, okay, this has to be a huge choir. It has to feel really, really big. It has to give you this Kamina Burana in, in, you know, image in your mind. And uh, we knew, okay, to achieve this, we need a huge choir. And in the end, we used three different choirs because, you know, one choir wasn't enough to give it this size because, you know, obviously you can have one choir and keep doubling it, but at some point it won't sound bigger anymore because it's still the same voices, you know. At some point, you will just get phase cancellations because you're just repeating the same voices all over again. So uh, we had to work with different singers and had to involve more choirs. And so those things were designed to be big on purpose. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, for us, the, the goal is always the song itself. It's not being big for the sake of being big or being bigger than something we did in the past for the sake of topping this. You know, we don't care about this. The other day, somebody was asking us, 
how many tracks we recorded for this album. It, it has been, you know, so far, I think the biggest thing we did was and then there was silence and maybe a uh, wheel of time for each now, but, and somebody was asking if, if we used more tracks on this album. And uh, we had to admit we had no idea, you know, because that, that, that doesn't really matter for us, you know. It, it, it's not, we, we, if we feel a song needs more parts, more takes of whatever, guitars, choirs, you name it, vocals, then we will record them. Right. But, uh, you know, only because we feel the song needs them, not because we want to record 10 takes more than half time, you know. And we, to answer that question, we had to ask Charlie, you know, and also we had to look it up. And we, in the end, yes, we used more tracks than ever before. Mm -hmm. But uh, to be honest, I forgot how many, you know, because it doesn't play a role for me, you know. So, yeah, it's big, but not for the sake of being big, being there, but right. for the sake of achieving something that we wanted to achieve. That's amazing. Now, coming to your rhythm section. So when I listen to the album, it's bone crushing. You keep that, that melodic vibe. You keep the fans hooked to the rhythm section. So that makes me feel really proud to hear this music coming out from you, even after, you know, being there for more than three decades. Uh, you know, that's what we love doing. <laughs> we, you know, uh, it, it, it's just, you know, um, the whole thing about being in Blind Garden is loving what you do, I think, you know, and uh, that, that's, that's the only thing, how it can work for us, because, you know, um, we just go for what we want to do, what we have in our minds, and um, I think we can only be good like this because you know if we would try to do something that we don't really feel it we would fail you know i don't think we would be convincing in 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 doing a kind of music or approaching in a way that we, we don't feel like doing you know uh, technically of course we could do something different you know it's we, I can play also different things on guitar because I just can't play guitar. But, you know, I feel like doing this this thing. And only when I do something that I really feel like doing, that I really want to do, then I'm good, I think. Then I'm, I'm at my top possible, you know, abilities. Right. Sounds really great. And, and Beyond the Red Mirror is actually thematically a, a continuation of subject matter from imaginations from the other side. So... Was there lack yes. of a plan to go back to that subject or was it a spontaneous decision that you guys made when you were writing the album? Uh, actually, it happened by accident, you know. Uh, when we started writing, there were no plans at all to go back anywhere. You know, we, we, we just started writing new songs. And um, in the beginning, when we work on a new song, it's always the music that comes first. You know, Hansi sings whatever comes to his mind. The only thing that matters is his melody line and the rhythm of the word that he's using. But uh, the, the lyrics don't even have to make sense. You know, only when the song is done completely, musical-wise, mm -hmm. then he starts writing the actual lyrics. And so in the beginning, we just started writing new songs. There was no idea at all about what direction the lyrics would be in, or even that, there was also no plan to do a concept album in the beginning. Um, the idea for this actually came when we worked on the Best Of collection that we did, like, was it last year, previous year, before that, whenever I forgot. But, you know, when we were going through the old songs for that Best Of collection, mm -hmm. Then, then Hansi realized that there was some unfinished business on, on, um, on the Imagination album concerning this story that he started to tell back then. And that's when, when he had the idea to, to finally finish that story. And that's how, that's how the idea for the concept of, of this album was born. You know, he, he came to us, talked to us about this idea, and we liked it. So um, we went for it. That's awesome. Sounds really great. Now, Blind Guardian, you know, has always been accredited as the godfathers of power metal. So if I have to ask you personally, how do you feel about this claim? Um, you know, uh, I, I have to say, first of all, I don't really think about ourselves being godfathers of anything, you know, because I think that that kind of puts a burden on our shoulders that I don't even want to think about, you know, <laughs> because that, that 
you know, I think we're the godfathers of, of Blind Guardian. <laughs> that's a really that's, good that's, answer. Yeah, that's, that's, that's something that I can live with. You know, um, we, we, the, the funny thing is, you know, seeing us as the godfather fathers of, of power metal, you know, and, and that puts a discussion in my mind that I read on the internet a couple of years ago already when the, there were fans discussing about what kind of music we are playing, you know, and there was the guy that started the discussion said, oh, Blind Guardian are power metal. Okay. Then the next guy came in and said, oh, no, that's not correct, they are speed metal. Okay. And the next one said, no, 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 that's completely wrong, they're progressive metal. And the next one said, no, they are epic metal. And, you know, they were all right, because, you know, um, all those elements are in our music. Absolutely. We just don't want to be limited to anything, you know. If somebody says, oh, you're a speed metal band, yes, we have a lot speed of speed metal. metal songs, and we have a lot of songs that don't have to do anything with speed, you know. Yeah. But, you know, they still are Blank Garden songs. So, um, for me... If somebody asks me, what kind of music are you guys playing? I say metal, because it, that involves no at all. all that thing. Yeah, you know, I, I say we're a metal band. We have fast songs, we have thrashy, very aggressive songs. We have mid-tempo stuff, we have ballads, we have epic orchestral stuff. We have folkloristic stuff, we have, you know, you name it, we have it. You know, and for us, in, in my opinion, we play metal. And, you know, as I mentioned before, this Godfather thing, of course, it's an honor if somebody calls you the Godfather of whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, for me, I don't think in that in that way, you know, I, I don't see myself as the Godfather of anything. You know, I see myself, I'm the guitar player of Blind Guardian and, you know, uh, I'm in a team of a couple of friends that make music together and we try to do our best. Right. That's how I see yourselves. Wow, that sounds really great. Now, talking about live, I mean, you guys must be really excited to to unleash the music live because that's where the magic happens. So, any new songs yes. which will be, you know, on your upcoming tour? Um, we didn't, you know, we, we, we put down together a list of like 41, 42 songs that we started preparing for the upcoming shows. Uh -huh. And those 41 songs are actually old songs. Okay. And um, so um, we started, we did a couple of rehearsals uh, because next week we'll fly to the USA to do this uh, 70,000 tons of metal cruise. Right. But we won't, play, we won't play new songs on that cruise yet because the album is not out yet and we don't like playing new songs when nobody knows them yet. Right, right. So uh, once we are back from that cruise, we'll, which will be by the end of that month, um, we will come back together in the rehearsal room and then we start rehearsing right. the stuff for the, for the real tour. We talked about four or five songs from the new album that we will start rehearsing. Mm -hmm. We will see how they work. So I, I, I can't really say yet if they all will end up in the set or if we change some of them, we will see. But the idea is to have like at least four new songs in the set. There will be some evergreens, obviously, in the set, because otherwise people will crucify us if we don't play them. There will be some songs that actually we never, ever played so far. Right. We put some on the list that we will finally be playing. Nice. So there will be some, some very old, old songs. New material. That's, that's what we're aiming for, you know, the mix, a bit of everything. You know, there are a couple of ancient Blind Guardian songs that we were digging out and we plan to play them, you know. There's a bit of everything, you know. Uh, I mean, Blind Guardian changed a lot over the years, you know. Right. There are the very early days. There are, you know, days in, like, Tales from the Twilight World and somewhere far beyond. There's Nightfall and Imaginations and stuff like that. And we'll play a bit of everything. So uh, I great. think it's going to be a great mix. Awesome. So any new areas you guys are exploring for this particular, you know, the upcoming tour? I mean, what about coming to India? You guys have enormous fans here. <laughs> Uh, I would love to, absolutely love to, and, um, you know, I can't say yet where, I, you know, the, the, the thing is, um, the first part is confirmed already, so uh, we'll be uh, on the road in Europe for about two and a half, three months, mm -hmm. you know, starting in early April, nice. and everything else is in the planning in the moment. The only thing I can tell you is that we will be on the road until the end of next year. So there's a lot of time. <laughs> 
And uh, I can I can just hope to be able to come finally because you know uh, I love playing in places where we haven't been before. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's always something special. You never know what to expect. You don't know how the people will react to certain songs. You know, and the the great thing about being a, a touring musician is that you are working for about two hours a day and you have twenty two hours of being a tourist. <laughs> And, you know, that's all. Awesome. So I hope we can come finally. I know a lot of people are waiting for us. So far, it never worked for various reasons. I hope we'll, we'll be able to come this time. That's all I can say in the moment. I can't, I I can't promise it's... anything, but we, we can make it for sure. That's right. It'll it'll be an honor seeing you guys live. I mean, none of the power metal bands have actually come to India so far. So having Blind Guardian on board would really be an honor. It would be very, very special for us. We will, we will try everything to make it true. That's awesome. Marcus, so how about I conclude the interview by, by asking you a very simple question to define the new album Beyond the Red Mirror in just one sentence. Oh, that's difficult. <laughs> that's the idea. Um, I think, uh, where would I put it? Beyond the Red Mirror is... Everything Blind Guardian has ever been about, plus everything beyond. Fantastic, Marcus Sapien. has an <laughs> honor having you with us here on Medalwani. Thank you once again. Hey, it's been my look pleasure. to see you live soon. I hope it will happen. Hope to see you very soon, my friend.